Hello and welcome to PMC Discovery. In this video, we are going to take a look on how to replace Discovery Outpost User Interface HTTPS Certificate. For this demo, let's log into PMC Discovery 23.3 version with System User. Let's go to Manage and Outpost and Proxies. Here you can see the Outpost registered with the appliance. Let's open this Outpost URL in a new tab. When you install BMC Discovery Outpost, it generates its own self-signed certificates, which enable the browser to trust it. However, as there is no chain of trust to a known certificate authority, you must tell browser that it must trust the BMC Discovery Outpost. That's why you are seeing the message over here that the certificate is not valid. This is the documentation about replacing the Discovery Outpost UI with HTTPS certificate. In order to use your own HTTPS certificate, you have to request your CA to generate the key certificate pair by providing them the information about the common name DNS. And once the certificate are returned by your team, you have to copy them to BMC Discovery Outpost host and restart the Outpost services. After that, when you connect to BMC Discovery Outpost, you will have the HTTPS connection using a certificate to a browser trusted CA. Let's take a look at one of the example on how you can do that. So in this procedure, in order to create the certificate, we will use our BMC Discovery appliance. Let's log into the appliance from a tool like WinSCP. And here inside USR Tideway, we will create few folders. The first one would be Outpost SSL. Inside that, we will create a folder called as private and another folder as CSR. Now we will log into BMC Discovery Appliance from command line as Tideway user. We are going to use OpenSSL command in order to create the key. For example, here the command is going to be OpenSSL genrsa-out path of the private folder and then the key where this is the server name for our outpost server it's going to be a full fqdn name and size of the key which is 2048 we can hit the enter and here we can see the key now we will change the permission of the key with chmod command the next step is to create a cnf file and the content of this file would look something like this. This is the general format of the file where we will enter the details about our host. The country is going to be US, the state as Texas, location, company, name of the organization unit, your server name and the DNS. We will save this file as CNF. This file needs to be created inside the CSR folder. So we will keep the CNF file over here. We'll go back to the command line and this is the command that will create the CSR file. We will hit enter and now inside the CSR folder, you have the CSR file. You need to pick the CSR file and from the private folder, pick the key that you have generated. You need to provide this key and CSR file to the certificate team to create the certificate file. Once you have received the signed certificate from your team, let's take a look on how you can replace them in Outpost Server. Let's log into the server where the outpost is installed. Here, let's create a folder called HTTPS. And then we will open services.msc. Go to BMC Discovery Outpost Service and stop the service. After that, we will go to the path where the outpost is installed. Here, go to etc. And then HTTPS folder. The server certificate and the key which is available out of the box, we will copy them 
do a backup location. Here in this folder, we will replace the certificate and the key file. Please rename the key file with uh, server.key and the certificate with server.crt. Once done, go back to services.msc and start the outpost services. Now the services are restarted, let's refresh this page or open the same URL again in a new tab. And here you can see that there is no error, connection is secure and you are now using the replace certificates. That's all in this session for right now. Thank you for watching.